Hi everyone, in this video with the help of our model Ryo, we'll walk around Gion and Higashiyama. And later we'll have a coffee at the most famous Starbucks. This is Maruyama Park, which is right behind the famous Yasaka Shrine. It does get crowded in the autumn, but still it's a huge park, so it's very easy to walk around and kind of enjoy the autumn leaves. And you will also see a lot of people enjoying and chilling in the beautiful weather and beautiful surrounding. And it's a wonderful place to be in the autumn. It's not very common, but you can even go and get a beer and just drink or get a coffee and just sit down on a bench. There are many empty benches all around the park and just enjoy the view. One of the best thing about Kyoto is its nature. It's surrounded by trees and rivers and it's so beautiful in different seasons. And of course the most popular season is autumn, but also in spring. Despite the crowd you can still get photos without anybody in the background. So there are places that you can just find the pockets where there's nobody around at all. This willow tree is one of the centerpiece of this park. It's located right in the middle and it's so beautiful. Okay, now we're going back to Yasaka Shrine, which is right in front of the park. As it is customary, whenever you enter a shrine or a temple, you're supposed to wash your hands so that you clean yourself. Actually, in this case, there's no water because of COVID. There's no more running water. We're just pretending that we're washing our hands. In Shinto shrines, you also ring the bell to wake up the gods so that they can come and bless you. So you bow twice and then you ring the bell and then bow twice again. The Saka Shrine is very close to downtown, so due to its proximity to downtown it gets really crowded. And it's also the guardian for the geisha girls.
Now we're heading towards Higashiyama, which is just further up the hill near Gion. And there are some beautiful alleyways and streets from the bygone era, so it's kind of very old look. It feels like you're traveling back in time, like 300, 400 years. Kyoto still remains one of the best preserved city in Japan and in fact the whole economy relies on its old traditional streets and traditional houses so the government is trying to keep it the way it was hundreds of years ago. One of the best views of the Asaka Pagoda is from the car park right in front of Kodaiji. So you get a really beautiful view of the pagoda in the distance and especially in the sunset it's amazing. The Asaka Pagoda is one of the best scenes of Kyoto. Especially when you come from the other side from the top and then you see this amazing pagoda. So the streets leading up to Yasaka Pagoda from either side is called Ninenzaka and Saninzaka and there are a lot of souvenir shops and, and restaurants of course. On Ninenzaka which means second year slope there is also the famous Starbucks. Why is this Starbucks famous? Because it's uh, Japanese style and tatami style so you sit on the floor. It gets really crowded but sometimes it's not very crowded especially during off season. So you can get to sit down and have a coffee which is really nice. So this part of Kyoto, Higashiyama, is very hilly, so you walk up and down quite a lot and also of course there are a lot of tourists, so you get really tired quickly. So the best way to relax is to have a coffee and a moment of calm, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this short tour of Gion in Higashiyama, and thank you very much for watching. And special thanks to Rio for appearing in this video.